Hey, what up decisive marketers? So sometimes clients send you low quality images. So what do you do with them? All right? so that's a huge problem. And that's what today's tool is going to solve. Today's tool um, allows you to enlarge images. So sometimes when they send you images or maybe even logos of uh, that are too small in the resolution, you can increase the size of those images. You can also uh, enhance images uh, the color the contrast the quality you can also improve the uh, you know it sharpens the images uh, retouch um, for uh, you know the face and uh, denoise images as well so sometimes um, you know when you get uh, clients and they take photos of their live events and they may not be clear enough or uh, the quality might not be good enough and what you can do is to make use of this tool to um, improve those images but this tool um, itself is um, the biggest focus is actually on the image enlargement uh, feature and uh, they also come with a background remover uh, feature as well right so uh, this tool is called image larger right image larger but before we dive into this tool be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we are in uh, AI image and large okay so what we're going to show you first let's go with uh, some of the other features and then let's take a look at the main uh, feature here uh, later on which is the image enlarger right so if you look at their website they have multiple features uh, multiple products here so they got a image enlarger they got denoiser they got enhancer they got sharpener they got face retouch and uh, background remover right so um, if you uh, so denoiser and enhancer and i think the enlarger as well uh, and the face retoucher um, they all uh, i believe they are all free um, except the image sharpener and background removal um, i believe so uh, i gotta check again on that so let me just open up the uh, pricing that they've got here um, so uh, so okay so what happens is that if you get the the premium plan that they have they actually give you unlimited access to the enlarger and you only get uh, so the, sh the you get unlimited access to everything except for the sharpener and background removal which are based on credits okay right so that's how it works so let's take a look at the first one which is the denoiser right so it removes uh, noise from the photo so i'm going to show you the original image right here okay so this is really a um, noisy photo that we have here and this is actually um, what happens after you um, go through the ai processing right so you can see that um, I think it did a pretty good job in removing all those uh, noise. Um, of course, it's not perfect. There are still some like noise at the edges right here. And of course, uh, the outline of the fighter jet here is not really clear as well. So I believe that could be improved. But of course, this is almost um, too annoying to look at, right? So uh, I think that uh, it does the job somehow and then the next one we're going to be looking at is the AI freeze retouch so this is my photo right here okay so uh, and then this is the AI uh, following the AI retouch so you can see that for example my eyes start to stand out a little bit right my eyes stand out a little bit um, my hair is a lot clearer um, um, how to say the my 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 neck doesn't feel so um tight anymore, <laughs> right? It it seems to give me a little bit of shadow. Up, oh, sorry. It seems to give me a little bit of a uh, shadow. Uh, you know, it it feels like my neck isn't as round as this one here as well, right? So. Yeah, so and it only works 
um, for the face and the collar area right this seems to uh, this one seems to be a little bit sharper I would say right so then the next one is this one here right so we have a lady photo right here and then um, this is how it looks like after um, you know the retouching okay so we're gonna zoom in a little bit um, it's not high quality so just take note of it um, this is the original image okay and this is after the face retouching right so you can see like um, the eyes stand out a lot more um, you know the the face is 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 smoother as well right face is smooth smoother as well um, oops sorry my bad and and it looks like the face is sharper as well right so you know I think it seems to do the job well and then we have the image sharpener so this one is the original image so it makes is is meant to make blurry image crisper right and enhance photo ages so this is the original image this is after retouching right so um i don't think that it is doing a good job right here probably because this photo is meant to be blurry in the first place so um so i guess they are having a hard time trying to process this um we we have to find like a, a better um, blurry photo for that um, which i couldn't find a good example to test it out so the next one right here is the ai image enhancer so this is the original image okay so it is meant to make the photo look um better i would say so this is after the ai retouch okay so this is after the ai retouch so i would say it it, it does more like uh uh like a different filter in as well if this is like a dull kind of photo this is makes it brighter um but at the same time it seems to also show a lot of other um feature about the photo as well right it seems like the 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 light is on this area right but then when you switch it over it seems like it lights up the background something like that okay um and then we have the the main thing which is the ai image enlarger okay so this one okay so this one is the original image that i got okay so it's a soccer match and this uh, so what happens is that I actually strung the image down by down into 12.5 percent okay so this is how it looks like the small little image like right here right, is being um, resized into that size and then um, I ran it through the AI image enlarger and this is what we get okay so um the faces are definitely you know distorted and all that um uh so i don't think that uh okay so this one allows you to enlarge by two times four times and eight times right so eight times is definitely too much that this photo can um, that this tool can can take um i think maybe like two to four would be the most that it can do because you can see that all the faces are um you can't see them at all uh you know um let's see let's look at other features um i think the grass seems to be okay uh like anything that has a shape um, it definitely looks off right anything that has a shape it definitely looks a little bit uh, it looks off I would say right even the ball um, it doesn't even look uh, rounded anymore it looks like a square 
right so the next one is this photo right here and this is after the AI enlargement okay so uh, you can see that like the um, the 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 uh, the blouse that she's uh, you know wearing it's supposed to have these um, sort of um, I don't I don't really know what you call that but they have these like holes in here so with this it just kind of disappears and makes it looks like a like a actual blouse itself right so um, you know definitely it eight times is a little bit too much uh, but it seems to you know get the background not too bad right can you see that like the background um, it's not going to be the same like this but because the background is just blurry in the first place it seems okay right and this section with the with the rock right right here seems to be just fine as well uh, and you know it actually if you replace this person right here this photo will not look too bad I would say right um, yeah I would think that this photo will not look too bad uh, the only um, issue that I think that this too is um, I, I, I only see that it is definitely not able to do um, um, anything that is um, like like a lifestyle photo something like that I think it's a little bit too much for the AI image enlarger to to enlarge but if you are use if you have a logo that's a little that's too small you want to um, enlarge it I think that the AI will be able to do a good job right so maybe what we could do right now is uh, let me just grab a maybe let me grab my a logo okay so this is my logo right here so what I'm going to do right now is to resize it into oops sorry I'm going to resize it to um, eight times smaller right so this is the size of the logo okay so let me just save this okay so we're gonna upload this in here I'm let me just put the logo in here and then I'm gonna upload the smaller logo in here and I'm gonna change it to 8x and let's start so let's give it some time to enhance it um, my bad I forgot to change this the, the scene right so and let's see if it's okay um, working with a logo right so um, for those for you know let me just show you the logo again so this is the logo right it's supposed to be looking like this right it's supposed to be looking like this but of course this is a PNG file um, it's going to be looking a little bit different because the one that is resized is going to be in JPEG format so let's see how it fares okay it's gonna take a little while um, I think that um, okay so it's ready right now let's take a look so um, yeah 8x is still a little bit too much it feels like a different style of the logo right this feels um, it's a little bit more solid this one it feels like it's being drawn by using some kind of water paint <laughs> I would say <laughs> right uh, so I guess maybe um, um, but of course it has the outline uh, a lot more clear 
right the outline of it is a lot more clear right so I would say that I think 2x 3x might be fine with uh, this tool itself and especially if you're working with logos or stuff like that I think that image larger can help you but um, anything more uh, it can be a little bit uh, is, is, is you're gonna need a lot you you got to touch up the photo a little bit on your own um, otherwise yep pretty much this is the tool itself uh, I think in many ways it can help some of you um, otherwise uh, you know you may have to try and recreate some of these images right if you have enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up uh, if you know anyone who could benefit from some of these uh, image AI features be sure to sh share this video with them and lastly uh, let me know what you think about image larger in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video